Sustainability of Australia and the world's fish stocks is a hugely important issue, not just for fishermen like you and me, but for anybody who ever eats fish. And there's no one better qualified to give us the scientifically verified facts on the matter than the Executive Director of Australia's Fisheries Research and Development, Dr Patrick Home. World fish stocks overall are sustainable and a lot of the press uh, currently and the scientific debate is not about whether the world fish stocks are sustainable, it's about how we can make the best use of those fish stocks. Unfortunately though we do hear a lot of stories in the press which are probably stories from 20, 30 years ago. Um, a common story is, um, haven't you heard about orange ruffy? Orange ruffy have been overfished and no longer sustainable. Um, I can tell you now that orange fishery, uh, the orange ruffy fishery in Australia is a very sustainable fishery. Um, we have learnt a lot since those times when we didn't have the science necessary to understand everything about our stock. And in many cases, Australia can take pride in being a world leader in putting this new knowledge into practice. As Australia has put in place not only good science but good management methods. Dr Hone can back this statement with solid examples that are close to many a seafood lover's heart or taste buds. There's no doubt that a lot of our, for example, prawn fisheries, like the Spencer Gold Prawn Fishery, which recently got its Marine Stewardship Council certification, or the Exmouth Trawl Prawn Fishery, or the Little Clarence School Prawn Fishery, are very sustainable. Those fishermen have put in a lot of good science. Yet for all this success, sustainable wild catches alone can never be enough to satisfy the world's growing demand. We know for Australia just alone, by 2020, we're going to need another 610,000 tonnes of fish. The answer is as clear as good ocean water. Aquaculture is um, an incredibly dynamic industry in the world. Its future um, is only just starting to be scratched. Um, if you think that um, uh, cattle got started breeding 10,000 years ago, we only started salmon farming in the 70s. What is it, 35 years old, 40 years old? It's so new. Um, and so wonderful in all its opportunities. And I think we're only just starting to understand its potential. Um, if you go and breed a cow, you might get one calf or two calf. If you go and breed a southern roofed and tuna, you get a million eggs per day. And you don't just get them per day, you get them per day for 30 days. A million eggs for 30 days, that's 30 million eggs. 30 million babies if you can actually get them to all breed. But what about the burning question of feed for aquaculture? One part of aquaculture requires feed. One of aquaculture doesn't require necessary to be fed. So all the filter feeders of the world, like oysters and mussels, they're passive, um, they sit out in the ocean, they use the natural system. And on the farming that requires feed, research and experience are already showing the way to a greater sustainability. As you get better at breeding, better feed nutrition, the ratio goes down. In some species, like Atlantic salmon now, the ratio is about 0.9. Um, so that means for every 90 grams of bait fish or uh, fish meal that's produced, you produce a kilo of salmon. So you're actually producing more than you started with. So that's a good start. Some species, like catfish, it's even lower. It's down in the 0.01s because they're effectively a herbivore. They eat plants. They don't need um, wild fish to be produced. So we'll see more of those species develop as the, as the world goes on. Patrick's views on all this aren't just those of a scientist. I'm a very keen recreational fisher. I love to catch fish. So we know that FRDC has a heart for fishing as well as a head. We hope that we can continue to grow that rec sector, but make sure that we're, that's compatible with a healthy commercial sector, a healthy aquaculture sector. It's not just biology, it's economics, and it's social science as well. And more and more, you've got to try and mix and match all three components into a sustainable science package. FRDC invests for sustainability. That's our most important role. For more info on the science behind the future of our fishing, go to the Fisheries Research and Development website, frdc.com.au.